When we think of emotions, we think of our heart. It breaks, or it's full of joy, or it's cold-hearted, right? But Pixar's wonderful movie Inside Out portrayed emotions as actually being in control of our mind, telling us what to do and what to feel. And look, they probably got some things wrong, like this should probably be a touchscreen instead of dials, but they got one big thing right. In psychology at least, it's much better to associate emotion with our brain. Because when we're feeling feelings, boy do our brains light up. Of course, correlation doesn't imply causation. This doesn't automatically mean our brains produce all emotion. But it certainly has a big part to play, and that's what we psychology students are interested in. The main area of the brain that we believe is associated with emotion is right here in the center, a group of structures that are collectively called the limbic system. Exactly which part should be included in the limbic system is debated, but it's not a clear cut like, you know, happiness is here, sadness is here, anger is produced here. It's far more complex than that. We think the hippocampus, for example, is really important in helping us remember memories that have strong emotions attached to it. We'll look at this in later videos. The hypothalamus, on the other hand, is really important in our stress response, particularly with regards to fear. But of all these guys, the most significant seems to be the amygdala. Many studies have strongly suggested that the amygdala plays a large role in emotional regulation. For example, in 2002, macaque monkeys with damaged amygdalas showed an almost complete inability to to show fear and behaved in a way best described as socially uninhibited, suggesting that the amygdala was really important in regulating emotions and even is what causes us to be cautious with situations that may be dangerous. All this from something the size of an almond. And so the amygdala today is understood to have these roles as listed here. It's pretty fascinating. But there's one more area of the brain that's associated with emotion, and that's the prefrontal cortex, perhaps better described as the frontal frontal cortex. <laughs> in particular, the underside of the prefrontal cortex seems important in connecting brain regions involved in emotional processing and production. Again, the word connect here might be less in a physical and more in a functional way. It even appears to play a role in deciding between good and bad actions, which is fascinating. So maybe Pixar did get it right. How we experience emotions has so much to do with the brain and understanding it is so important, at very least, so we can make more movies like these.